Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're doing our last uh, chat on Psalm 145. This is the last psalm that David has written in the book of Psalms, and uh, we believe he wrote more than half of the psalms in the book of Psalms, and this is the last one. Actually, we begin our study in the book of Psalms on September 14, 2022. That was a long time ago, and we'll be concluding with these last five psalms over the next few days. Well, Psalm 145, we've looked how this is David's crown jewel of praise. His last psalm, he brings purest praise to the Lord, and so should we. And he teaches us when, why, and how we should praise the Lord. And he first says, we should praise the Lord from day to day. I will extol you, my God, O King. I'll bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you. Then in verse 3, we learn that we're to pass the praise of the Lord on to the next generation. From generation to generation, His name is to be praised. And then we praise Him from nation to nation. One nation is to share this wonderful good news that they have to the other nation. And that is Jesus Christ is King. God is the ruler over all. He's the great creator and we should praise Him for all that He's done in His creation. And then we find in verses 13 through 16 that we should praise God from need to need. Let's read these verses. The Lord upholds all who fear Him and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. You see, our God's not an absentee landlord. His rule, His dominion is over all the earth and endures throughout all generations. His authority, uh, His supreme rule, His, His love and grace and power and willingness to meet every need. He's not an absentee landlord that doesn't fix the roof when it goes bad. He takes care of every need everyone has when anyone falls and they call on Him. He will lift them up. He'll save all who call upon Him in Acts, in Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And so we work for our daily bread, but when we uh, depend upon God, He simply opens His hand and He gives us the daily bread we need. Every need, every need, it says here, He gives the food in due season and, desire, and fulfills the desire of every living thing. And that's animals, people included. And then we find, last of all, that David teaches us we should praise God from prayer to prayer. We should pray. And so verse 17, the Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Remember Jesus said, they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Thou desirest truth in the inward part, David had said in Psalm 51. He will fulfill the desire of all who fear Him. He will also hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love Him, but all the wicked He will destroy. And so the Psalm concludes, and David concludes, and this is all the Psalms, that, the last of all the Psalms that David wrote in the book of Psalms, and the last words he has is, My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh shall bless His holy name forever and ever. And I'm telling you, one day, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. All flesh one day will bow before the King of Kings. Yes, my friend, today we can praise Him. We can praise Him because as we pray and call on Him, He fulfills the desire of every living thing. He meets every need that we have. We can trust Him. He is the one that we are to teach the nations who He is and how He can save them from their sins and only give them the hope that they're really looking for. My friend, today the Lord is worthy to be praised. Let's make sure we praise Him even today. God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.